Beyond this intro lies a topic. A topic I tried so hard to avoid. A topic that I wished never existed, and thought that not talking about it would make it all go away. Can you guess what I'm talking about? Did you say feminism in gaming? Congratulations, you're probably not a mentally challenged redneck hillbilly whose mother is also your aunt and your grandma, and your brother is not your father cousin. You can actually read the title of a video! Congratulations! That's for you. But if you are, please disregard that last comment. If you call yourself a feminist, and you don't respect anyone who has different views than you do, please close this tab, go to www.google.com, and search bloated furry hentai, and then enjoy yourself. Now before I move on, I just need to clarify some things. No, I am not a misogamist. Yes, I do believe in women's rights. In fact, I believe in all human rights. I believe everyone should be equal, and you should have the opportunity to marry whomever you please. I do not support feminism in the US or any modern world country. Back in the 50s, yeah, I could see why they were needed, but now that women have pretty much all the essential rights and every right that men have, the only issue now is that pesky little pay gap that's actually being sealed as we speak. I mean, I can see why feminism is needed in other countries, like India, or, I don't know, Somalia, I guess, although that kind of needs all basic human rights, but you, you know what I'm saying, right? Just, there's no point in feminism anymore. And yeah, there's sexism, but you will never be able to completely eliminate that or racism from human minds, because that's just how humans are. We're imperfect creatures. We judge people based off of stupid reasons. I mean, personally, I don't really care what color you are, or whether or not you have a penis or a vagina. I just care of whether or not you're a nice person. And feminists aren't necessarily nice people. And I'll get into that later. Now it's time to move on. Lately, I've noticed a lot of feminism BS in gaming related news. The biggest being how Ubisoft almost got in serious trouble for not having a playable female character in their upcoming Assassin's Creed Unity. Not only is this complete donkey wiener that this is something that even needs to be discussed, but there's actually was an Assassin's Creed game not too long ago featuring a female protagonist. Assassin's Creed Liberation. Look it up. Now, these people have attacked many games and developers, the most common one being the Tomb Raider franchise. But honestly, why should you care about whether or not the main character in a game is female or not? And how come when they are female, you complain about them being a bad role model or representation of women? Video games aren't even supposed to have role models or represent anyone other than the characters in the game? Now, about wanting more playable female protagonists in games. That's okay, I guess, but really. You can't go and complain as much as these feminists are about it. If you wish there were more games with female protagonists, fine by me. As long as you keep in mind that there are already a lot of games out there with female protagonists. The game you currently see me playing right now even has a female protagonist. Portal 2. There's one title, then there's also Tomb Raider. Oh wait, that's a bad representation of women. Never mind. Oh yeah, by the way, that's BS that Tomb Raider is a bad representation of woman. It's about a woman who goes and does things for herself. How is that a bad representation? Boobies! You know, the whole reason the game tells so well is because of her boobs, right? Boobs and butts are all that horny 12-year-olds want. And horny 12-year-olds are who the developers want to buy their game. And you know, by depicting Lara Croft so quote-unquote sexy, it gets a lot of people to buy their games, and in that case, it makes them learn that women can do things for themselves. Did you ever think of that? No? Because I bet you just looked at the box art and thought, ew, boobies, and then complained about it to all of your friends at the book club. This is why a woman's place is behind her man and in the kitchen. Should I even bother to point out the last sentence with a joke? Obviously I have to, or I'll be labeled as a misogynistic pig. But if I say all ching-chongs eat rice and do math, oh, everything's fine. 
The point I'm trying to make here is that there are too many games starring main female roles to be allowed to complain about them. Especially when it's something so stupid as Oh my god, this game doesn't let you play as a female, Ooh. I even saw this petition, though I'm not sure if it's for real or if it's just a troll, it was about the next Zelda game, and it was demanding to be able to unlock the ability to play Link as a female character. Now, I don't know how legit it was, but if that's true, it would completely defeat the game's purpose. The Legend of Zelda follows and has always followed the adventures of a little boy, keyword boy, on a quest to save Zelda, Princess Zelda, from whatever stereotypical antagonist the developers chose this time. Assassin's Creed Unity has only male characters because that's just what the developers wanted. Who knows why? Who should care why? Especially when you're not even going to play the damn game in the first place. Now. Here's a list of just a few game series with playable female protagonists. That's not including non-playable female protagonists, only playable ones. <coughs> Tomb Raider, Portal, Velvet Assassin, Lollipop Chainsaw, although I'm not really sure if you'd count that because it's kind of showy. <coughs> uh, Left 4 Dead, four protagonists in each game one of which being female. Assassin's Creed Liberation, Remember Me, Mirror's Edge, Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, Borderlands, same deal as Left 4 Dead, and the upcoming Alien Isolation, and of course Resident Evil 6, and that's not even a small fraction. There are so many more. So I'm sorry, what was that about there not being enough games with female protagonists? Anyways, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments. I'm always open to new perspectives, and I'm happy to hear what others have to say. If you have a new suggestion for a video, private message me on YouTube, Facebook, or in person, and I'll take it into consideration and maybe even add it to my list of potential topics if I think it's interesting enough. Goodbye, children.